Hi, my name is John Walsh with the Logic Group. I frequently ask, when should we be using the cursor, and what are those buttons for? Well, people like to use the cursor when they're digitizing points on a paper pattern. It's got this little magnifying glass and cross here. And then in our software, we can assign the buttons to be any command in the software. So if you look at the computer screen here, I've got the, uh, those are all the commands that I'm going to use with, with the cursor. So let's do an example. I'm going to close this. I'm going to click Start. And then I'm going to start digitizing it. Now I'm going to start right here and start with lines. While my cursor lines is button number 5. So I simply push number 5 to switch it to lines. And then I can use any of the top buttons to digitize. So I'm going to do those points here. And I'm now getting lines. And now at the top here I have an arc. Arc is button number 6. So I just push button number 6. And I do the midpoint of the arc, the end point of the arc. Button number five is line. So I'm going to switch to lines and then digitize those lines. And then I've got another arc up here. I'm going to switch to an arc by pushing button number six. Click there, there. I got another arc there. I got another little tiny arc here, another arc here. Then I'm going to switch back to line by pushing button number five and do the, my last few lines, and I am finished. On my cursor, I've got it programmed, button number C is to stop. I click stop, and I am done. Everything was done using the, the buttons on the cursor. I can digitize all my patterns and save it as a DXF file. Thank you.